So this is example number one, and this example is for thin air foil theory. Uh, in this example, we're going to uh, address the case number one, and this case is for the case when it's a symmetric airfoil. In, the, in this case, because it's symmetric, we know that your upper surface, uh, this equation, and your lower will actually be the same value, eta. This is negative because you have is uh, in the negative surface, so therefore in the negative negative axis, so it's going to have it needs to have a negative sign. Okay, there's a negative sign involved with it. So when I do this, and you take the average of this, will actually give you eta, and if you add them up, it gives you zero because it's completely symmetric. Uh, completely symmetric. Okay. So uh, with that said. And now we want to see how all these equations work. Let's see how we evaluate a sub zero. Uh, a sub zero is one over pi, uh, one over pi, zero to pi, partial of e, uh, this partial of x of theta, d theta minus alpha. Um, and you can see that this is zero because uh, sorry, this is completely zero because this is symmetric, okay? Uh, so therefore, that will be zero. This is going to equal to minus alpha, and a n then will actually give you pi, uh, zero to pi uh, will be partial of eta c, partial of x of theta, cosine of n theta d theta and since this is actually equal to zero well you find that this is also zero so in other words in this problem a1 is equal to a2 is equal to zero so now when we want to find the coefficient of lift uh, your lift coefficient uh, is pi a1 minus 2a sub 0, that gives you 2, 2 pi alpha. Uh, Cm of x will be uh, a sub 0 pi. This comes from the equations we derived in class. Uh, C plus a1 pi uh, xc minus 1 half plus a2 pi over four. And note that in our problem, a1 and a2 are zero. So this goes away. You are just left with, and the value of this is minus alpha, this is equal to minus pi, one half minus two xc. Uh, a sub zero is equal to minus alpha. That's where that comes from. So therefore, we want to find uh, we want to find the location where uh, partial of CM respect to alpha is actually equal to zero. Uh, so this is to find your aerodynamic center. To do that, then immediately you can um, Um, AC, sorry about that. So if I did that, this is alpha. So the whole expression basically becomes minus pi one half minus two XC is equal to zero. And from here, XAC is equal to C over four. We already knew that, we derived that in class. It's a thin wall airfoil. So, uh, or we could also have used this nice expression that we derived for thin wall airfoils, um, minus a sub zero plus a one minus a two. We show that these were zero, and this is alpha uh, minus alpha. So if you replace the whole thing here, this gives you this two. This is the value. Uh, this is the value of two pi. 
So this gives you 2 pi alpha there. And this gives you minus minus alpha gives you uh, equal to 1 fourth. Okay, that's the, that will be your aerodynamic, that will be the coefficient of pressure that we are looking for. Um, so this concludes example number one.